Hello, this is Bern, and if you're interested in finding out what is the number one ingredient you must have to find devotional love, stick around because I'm going to be sharing what this is on my episode today. Hello, this is Bern. Welcome to your great life to you.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love you crave and I'm very blessed to be sharing with you today the number one ingredient you must absolutely embody if you want to find love. I get approached by a lot of women who know that I've had the blessing of helping thousands of women so far in my life to find their soulmate and I get asked the question in some form or another how can I find this kind of love and why am I not finding this? What am I doing wrong? And I can tell you that one absolute key that determines in my mind the ability for that woman to find love is the level of hunger, true f hunger, that she has for finding this type of love, of experiencing, expressing this. Another word to describe this would be inner fire, or conviction of the heart kind, not the mind kind. Uh, so when somebody has hunger and inner fire, the strategy that can be applied to this hunger is explosively powerful. You can have the best strategy in the world without hunger, it just doesn't happen. So let me first demystify what hunger is not. A lot of women say, I'm not going to be hungry because that means I'm desperate. And hunger and desperation could not be more different, even though they're often confused. Okay, desperation is you feeling like your life sucks and you are incomplete and you need another human being to complete the void in your life. And typically when that takes place, that is the start of a codependent and messed up relationship that even if it lasts it's incredibly painful and of the soap opera kind and i'm sure you might know what i'm talking about either you experiencing it or seeing that in someone close to your life who's going through this ups and downs and a soap opera of a relationship just very very painful stuff right dark and uh just not what would make you feel super excited now that's desperation hunger is different hunger means you are so in touch with your greatness. There is so much life force in your heart that there's a surplus. Your cup is overwhelmingly full and not expressing it means that the spillage is being wasted. You know that there's so much love in your heart, there's so much passion to be shared, and you want to magnify that even more by having the container of relationship. Completely different from saying, my life sucks, make me a bicycle clown. That's one way of looking at it. The other way of looking at it is, you know what? My life is so amazing that I want to share this with you. That's what hunger is. You have hunger because you know that life is limited. You know that you only have a certain number of days to live and you don't want to waste one more day not being able to give that to someone who's awesome and who can receive it. So that's the first thing I'll say. The second thing I'll say about hunger is that hunger is humbling. Here's why hunger is humbling, because so long as you have excuses as to why you can't find love, that means you're in the freaking bleachers, or you're doing things, attempting to find something without really putting yourself 100% out there in case you get hurt. So when you put yourself out there with hunger, that means you are inevitably, inevitably gonna find stuff that doesn't work. People, some people will not like you and you'll feel rejected for a minute or two, right? So you stepping into doing life from a higher level of vibration, from a more, from a place of true commitment means that you'll find barriers along and those barriers are going to, one, further your commitment to get what you want, but also make you humble and make your heart more compassionate and make you a more vulnerable human being if you choose to view it that way. So that's the power of hunger to shape you into a more vulnerable person. Third reason why hunger, the third step I'll, I'll mention about hunger is that Hunger is commitment in action. Hunger means that you're willing to overcome obstacles, even if they're not fun to overcome, because you know that if you don't overcome those obstacles, the alternative means not being able to share your heart with someone. And here's how you know that you're really hungry for something. When an obstacle presents itself and you're willing to do whatever it takes to go past it, when you say, I really want this result, I, I hear so many women tell me that, but at the first sign in our conversation of this is what needs to happen for you to get this, she's, well, I, I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> so it's almost as if you're saying, I'm willing to get the love that nobody, I mean, like few people get so long as I can do it from the comfort of my bed, watching Netflix 
on my iPhone. <laughs> Can you do it? Some people do, but it's the minority of people. Most people have to get themselves very uncomfortable in the process of getting what they want. But guess what? After the fear and the rejection and getting uncomfortable, that hunger allows them to create the kind of connection that makes their life a true blessing, makes their life a place where they wake up and say, how on earth did I get so lucky to share this with this human being that I have in front of me? So I hope this makes sense. I hope you step into hunger. I hope you remove the excuses. I, I, I hope that when you find that this is the next step for you to find love, whether that is you uh, connecting with more men, whether that's you getting a mentor, whether that is you figuring out what are the excuses you've been having and really doing away with them, whatever that is, that you do it from a place of hunger versus excuses. If this is helpful, useful, insightful to you in any way, here's what I uh, invite you to do. Number one, click like on my video. Number two, subscribe to my channel. Number three, on the description of this video or on a link somewhere on your screen, you'll see a way for you to sign up to a webinar that I'm hosting that shares with you how to find your soulmate in 90 days or less. Super powerful stuff and absolutely free. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.